JC, stay lit, cause my call me for the flush, and I'm the ace. Is this the deepest part of the abyss of time? You think? It's no different than the rest of the ones we've seen. But that fits logically, which means the abyss's origin, the reason for the time skips, is here. Oh, there's something I had to tell you all. It was in the papers about the abyss of time I mentioned before. Did you find something? If the report is correct, this place came into existence as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. A reaction? The gigantic tower rising so high left a gigantic hole in its place. That's the abyss. Does that mean they've known about this place for ten years? They decided it would be harmless if left alone, since it would probably disappear with Tartarus. But it also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct, there should be no shadows in it. Wait a sec. There's a friggin' ton of shadows here. And if it was supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, why are we standing in it now? Did they forget a decimal place or something? No. Their logic makes sense. What was supposed to vanish is still here because of some force. One side's removal caused an imbalance. What could that force be? Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere down here. One thing's certain, though. It's deeply connected to all of you. What's up with that? What the hell did we do to deserve this? Well, there's another door. If that's here, then maybe... What's going on? Is that the big reason behind all this? If we leave out Igus, Metis, and me, whose past is left? Hey, yeah. Who else was there that had powers like ours? Who cares? There's no use speculating with it staring us in the face. We'll know once we open it. Whatever that reason is, it's strong enough to keep the abyss of time from disappearing. And we've come to erase that reason. We could be in for a battle. We should be very prepared before entering. She's right. This appears to be our goal. Don't worry, we can do this. to protect you. I dedicated my life to that purpose. But... I can't fulfill that purpose anymore. There's nothing more I can do. Can I continue to live this way? Does my life have a meaning? So, I wish I could return to being a mere machine.
That's the cause? D don't look at me. But, well, I didn't expect that we get to see him again, although he did have his back turned. Indeed. What's it mean? That looked like it was Icus's memory. What kind of a clue is that? I guess didn't have to awaken to her persona abilities, right? No, she did. She awakened to the special power he had. I guess what was that? When did it happen? <sighs> I always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room, unable to do anything. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. I guess. Sister. But after a while, I stopped dreaming entirely. It felt like a weight on my chest lightened and fell off. That must have been the last of the dreams I had. But I don't see what that has to do with my awakening. Sister, are you still in pain? The person we saw, he's the one who had the same kind of power as you, isn't he? <sighs> so that's the big cause of all this? That didn't explain anything. <sighs> Don't you get it? What we saw was only my sister's memory. But... All of you want to see him again, right? Then the answer is obvious. What's that supposed to mean? What I said at the start was right all along. The fastest way to solve this would be to eliminate all of you. So, that means that figure we keep seeing is... Wait, something's wrong. Just as I thought. It's coming. The monster that's taken the shape of your regrets. Is that...? You gotta be kidding. That can't be! This is the reason for everything. From the abyss of time's failure to disappear to the presence of shadows. This was born from all of you. Listen, give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Leave it to me. I need your help! I command thee! It's strong against darkness! Hang in there! Be careful, Metis is badly hurt. 
We did it. That was the monster born from us? But it was... Yes, its powers and form were familiar, but it was a shadow. You are correct. Wait, but that makes no sense. Persona users are supposed to beat shadows, right? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've been fighting them this whole time without knowing. Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. Did you all think that shadows were mysterious invaders or something? Shadows are the lower parts of the psyche everyone has. Suppressed human thoughts given physical form. When people are unable to face their darker selves, they break loose, free from all control. But sometimes, humans with special awareness contain their shadows. Those are Persona users. So Personas and Shadows, they're the same thing, just different names? If someone was able to create my sister and myself, wouldn't he have had to understand this? All those people lost their lives. Then, the reason for all this is our personas? The shadow's power affects time and even space. Through your personas, your unspoken desires were manifested. You can't stand to see time move on. You don't want to accept your loss of someone precious. It was by each of your wishes that time stopped moving forward. And as a result, you became trapped here. So we trapped ourselves. Huh. It's almost funny. Whatever the reason was, we beat that thing. We won. That should solve all this, right? Yes, that is correct. If we return to the dorm, we may be able to go outside. Whoa. What's this? When did I... Is this... a key? You should be able to leave using those keys. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. Finally! Jeez, I'm glad this didn't end up taking another year. But these keys... there's eight of them. That's because each of you played a part in bringing this about. The door probably won't open unless all eight are used at once. Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. Those words... So it'll open if we're all around, is that right? <laughs> then let's get the hell out of here! Uh, so are we just gonna waltz out through the front door? That door? Or another one? There's still one closed door that doesn't connect to the outside world. The main entrance, or that door, it's one or the other. A door that doesn't connect to the outside world? Are you talking about the door to his room? I just assumed someone had locked it. That door has the same feel as the doors to the past we've been going through up to now. What do you mean by one or the other? If we open it, won't it just connect to another past? That's right. If you go through the entrance, you'll return to the present. But that door leads to the past. The past? The world of the past. You've all been there many times now. But this time, the abyss will disappear once you go through the door. You'll be in the true past. Is that true? <sighs> why would I lie about something like this? If you don't believe me, then why don't you try leaving through the entrance? To accept the past or to revisit it, you're saying that in the end, we have to choose.
What do you want to do? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. That way, I'll finally be able to save you from this cursed fate. To be honest, that's all I care about. Cursed fate? Uh, which one are you going to choose, sister? I... <sighs> uh, hey, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. I agree. What the? What are all these cracks? This is bad. It's becoming unstable. It should last a little longer, but we don't have much time. If the fault extends to the door, we may not be able to leave even with the keys. <laughs> it's just one thing after another, isn't it? So, uh, what's the plan? I mean, no one's seriously thinking about going back to the past, right? <sighs> um, I've been thinking. Why do you think he died? They never figured out the cause of death at the hospital, right? Well, that's... Personally, I still think it's because he used all his power to accomplish that miracle. In other words, we were saved because he gave up his life. He gave everything for us. So it doesn't seem right to undo all his work on our own. Ken Kuhn. I'm with Ken. We've all seen what kind of resolve it takes to face death. That resolve, and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts. We have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time. You gotta look forward. I... I want to go back. To the time before the last battle. When I thought about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. But I can't lie to myself. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it, no matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah, you're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you seriously just gonna let a chance like this go? Then I'll ask you this. If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Nothing in the past was a waste. You're just making excuses. <laughs> hey, you keep mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just... leave? That's correct. He passed away. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Why? But... you've never met him. Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to when Shidori died. 
But I definitely see what Akihiko Senpai is trying to say. When you get down to it, though, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. What's wrong with you? Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? That's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourselves. What? How can you say that? <sighs> There's no use going around and around like this. We're never gonna reach an agreement. So if no one gives in, we'll have to settle this another way. Another way? <gasps> Yukari-chan, you don't mean... Taking the keys by force. That'll work too, right? It's true that the eight keys will merge if they're brought together, even against their holder's wishes. But if it comes to a fight, I'll protect my sister with everything I have. These keys represent each of your strength of heart. If you take my sisters, she may lose her life. What do you mean? You're only thinking of what's best for you. The person with my sister's power died of unknown causes, didn't he? Did any of you ever stop to think that maybe the same thing could happen to her? I came to protect her. But I... I won't make another mistake. I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Metis. I guess, son, which door are you thinking about unlocking? I... I can't decide right now which is more important. The past or the present. So you're just gonna run away? Again? Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose to someone like you. Yukari-chan, are you really going to fight? This decision hinges upon someone precious to us all. Our differences can't be settled with a compromise. No matter what Igis decides, we have no choice but to fight. And I've made my decision as well. I'm going to stand with Yukari. Senpai! You're taking her side? Are you serious? <sighs> I know you well enough to tell your mind's made up. All right. Everyone! It's decided then. Follow me. I'll lead you to a place suitable for battle. If we fight there, no one can appeal the result. Hey, 